Hi everyone and welcome to Football Syrups. So we continue today my series on the uh, 2022 World Cup with a video on a direct opponent of the Swiss national team that, that was precisely analyzed on, on the channel. Since this is an, an analysis with video sequences from matches on Cameroon goalkeeper Andre Onana's weakness, even if I like him a lot though. Because even if he regularly makes mistakes uh, of all kinds, he's also ca capable of, of the best, notably with an excellent footwork that even allowed him to sometimes position himself between the two central defenders when, when building from the back under Tenag at the Yax. However, the Masia trained uh, keeper has a real weakness, the opponent's crosses. In the first sequence, Anana is obviously looking at the ball when the free kick is, is being taken, which he needs to, to do, but his positioning and orientation, body orientation can be improved. He's too much oriented towards the, the near post when um, uh, positioned to, um, towards the near post where, where, when he should be very slightly on the side of the far post because that would be a way of compensating for the time needed to turn around if, if the ball gets there. This is a detail but what really bothers me is his body orientation as it differs from the orange line which would represent the, the ideal bar body orientation. The latter would make it much easier for, for Onana since he would not have to turn his whole, board, his, his whole body around but just to turn his head instead. A player who can turn his head without changing his body orientation in the game is usually a player who tends to, to look for a larger, a larger spectrum when, when scanning for, for information which Onana really should have done in this situation. He's not going to, to even turn his head at any point to, to spot opposition players and teammates within the box. And TH uh, area is an estimate of his field, field of vision, which precisely won't get much bigger. At this point, I don't even think the, the Cameron keeper uh, noticed Darwin Nunez, marked by, by Timber, towards when the ball is heading. If he had seen him, he would surely have thrown in himself in front of, of him because there would be room uh, for it, but he's strangely going to head behind the Uruguayan striker. Luckily, uh, there were no players in his pass because it, would, it could have been a clash. Hence the importance of only coming out after having taken information about the players in the proximity. Perhaps this, this would have allowed him to, to get in front of, of Darwin Nunez, who will now be able to score. This is not an ideal body orientation, uh, although it's what's going to happen next that, that bothers me most. As the ball is moving towards Burkina Faso's number 15, Onana doesn't get in front of him, but behind him. And to do so, he loses, he loses speed um, as he has to redirect his run, which even prevents him from taking full advantage of his great height, uh, 1 meter and 90 centimeter, not counting the, the outstretching of his arms. It may be a, an anti... Um, a bad in anticipation of the of the ball's trage trajectory, but it could also be a fear of missing the ball when when getting in in front of the number of, uh, of the number fifteen due due to a possible lack of, of confidence in in his own in his own size and ability. In any case, having a better scanning ability would surely make him more comfortable. The third sequence rather supports uh, the thesis of bad anticipation of the trajectory of, of the crosses because the ball will arrive exactly where Onana is uh, at the moment but the latter is first going to go out of his line then come back to it where, where he will have gone too far forward. Watch out, it's going fast, it's, it's not a slow motion this time. 
Even if it could be related to an eyesight problem, he's banned from matches for, for, for several months in, in 2021. Surely it didn't help. That's why I, I would suggest he stays on his line in these situations for, for matches until he, he corrects this problem in training. It's a detail I'll, I'll be following closely next season when, when watching his, his, adap his adaptation to in, Inter Milano and in Italy, uh, the country will, will be staying in for the next video dedicated to analyzing the set pieces of the famous Giovanni Vio or Gianni Vio. Make sure you subscribe to not, miss out on, to, not, to not miss out on this and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like to let me know about it in the comment sections and to share the video with someone you know. This would help me a lot, way more than you think. Bye bye!